Hello everybody, this is Zelda Maniac1994. Welcome back to day five of the month of Majora. Of course, we're playing Majora's Mask. I mean, what else are you playing? It's the month of Majora. And I decide I'm just gonna leave town. Um, I think there's like one more thing I want to do. I want to get the uh, town title deed. Um, so I'm gonna go visit the sewers and visit the old astronomer get dude. Um, I just can't remember the number. Three, one, two, four, five. Okay. I totally remembered it first time. Okay. Oh yeah, I think I mentioned, or I mentioned, I actually slowed down time uh, before I started recording. So, in case you're wondering why the clock is blue and not moving as fast, I mean, what else would it be? So, see, there's gonna be a skull right there. We can avoid it this time, because uh, we're not gonna get hit. We're smart like that. Perfect. I love that trick. All right, that's another 100 rupees. That makes up 200, and we now have a full wallet. That's good. Very good. Uh, every now and then I might consult the guidebook, but for the most part I probably won't need to. I remember quite a bit about this game. Uh, not as much as Ocarina of Time. Uh, Ocarina of Time is like the game I have pretty much memorized for just about everything. Um, whereas Majora's Mask, I've, well, I think I might have mentioned before, I've only beat a few times. Uh, not very many though. I think I once on the 64, once on the 3DS. I really haven't played that much. Uh, that being said, I mean, it's good to go back and play these games and get my memory logs filled up. Okay, so we can get the moons here. Here early. We can go talk to the business scrub and the gold deku flower. And then we can leave town. Also, I did waste a little bit of time, I mean, just in general, uh, going from the day to night, uh, just to get the Bremen mask. But trust me, there's a there's a method to my madness, I promise. And the method is, there really is no method. I just kind of do things as I see fit. Moon's tear. All right, let's move on. Yeah, yeah, you're 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 friggin' hilarious. All right, shut up! Don't want to talk to you. You know I'm poor tunt. Also, I'm just gonna pretty much ignore uh, the Deku's Cup play playground uh, in the 3DS version. Beating it on cert like beating it the first few nights will get you a fishing hole pass. There is no fishing hole in the regular Majora's Mask, which is good because it doesn't belong. I, I have some serious issues with the fishing games in Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask. I don't like them. They're not good. They're not done well. They really shouldn't be in the games. But that's beyond the point. That's just I think that's more of a nitpick than an actual complaint. I don't know. What is that complaint for me? I, mean, I really don't like it. Uh, what was I saying? I honestly don't remember. Isn't that great? I think I, I think it's dead. Um, yeah, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh no, I remember what I was saying. So yeah, I won't be doing the uh, Deku Scrub Playground until I know for certain that beating it all three nights will give me a heart heart piece, which I'm pretty sure it does anyway. I mean, the main game wouldn't be there to not be there, but I really don't want to do it right now. I'll probably come back to it later, or if I forget, then I guess I just forgot. But this. Gonna be a low chance I'm going to forget not doing the, uh, or forget that I haven't done the, um, Deku Scrub Playground. Okay, uh, we need to go visit the South Clock Town. Got a merchant waiting for us. Let's equip the moons tier. To there. Actually to there because... This will be important. One thing, well, actually, there's a lot of things I enjoy about, or prefer, enjoy, prefer both, that I really like above 
that I like about Majora's Mask 3D above Majora's Mask, the original game. Uh, they expedite quite a lot of processes in this game. Like, this scene right here, if you, do, if you see it once, you can immediately skip the scene in the 3DS version, which is good. Uh, here, have this. And just a few other things, like it handles things a lot better. I mean, it's had, it came out in 2013, so it had plenty of time to uh, fix up a few things. Actually, hold on, when did it come out? I think 2013. Um. Wow, I was really, I was really off. 2015. It came out in 2015. So it had years to perfect it. I mean, it had 15 years to fix up a few of the mechanics. Which is good. Okay, we're going to leave town now. Let's see, the south is the swamp. So we need to head that direction. Hey, I have a sword. Alright. And now we get to leave Clock Town. Terminal Field. At night. Isn't it beautiful? Now, let's see. Do I want to... Oh, man. There are a lot of things... Uh, there's a few things I can do right now. Um, I can head to the swamp. But... I don't know. I want to get a few things done at Romani Ranch, but you can't really do anything there until night three. What was that? Why is my controller vibrating? That's why. There's a secret there. I love secrets. Cows. Just lots of cows. I really don't need to be here. There's nothing here for me. But that's good to know. There's a little secret area I can get milk later on. Once I get a bottle. Oh, man. I need to get my bearings. So that's not the right way. Oh, there's a sign here. I should probably just read the sign instead. Okay, so mm, I'm trying to think. Okay, I can't go there until day three. So I'll resolve a few things on night three. But first, we're gonna have a little piece of story information, knowledge, wisdom, courage, and power. Oh, I remember this. Tail and I drew this with the Skull Kid when we first met him. He told us that he had been fighting with his friends and that they left him all alone. What a sad game. But it's a good one. A really good one. Trying to find shelter in the storm. Oh, they're cold. They really chose weird noises for this game. But it's good. They're very memorable. Very memorable. Especially Skull Kid's screen. That's like, I think, one of the most, and if not, in fact, the most memorable noise of Majora's Mask. That's playing the Saria song. I will say, oh, I'm sure it's because he was always playing tricks, so nobody wanted to play with him. But to do what he did just because of that. And once he got his power.
Okay. Um, okay, I was, back to what I was saying. Uh, it, it really is... I don't know. It really changes things, like your perspective, when you know you're playing in a dream world. Uh, I mean, I think I've already said this. I, I end up repeating myself quite a lot. And uh, just kind of bear with me on that. But, uh, you know, this whole world is a dream. I mean... It's just weird because you're having to fix this whole dream and it, it, it's more real than it probably should be. Anyways, that's going to cover it for this episode. Thank you all so very much for watching. This is Zelda Maniac 1994 signing out.